Okay, so today we're going to finish up chapter 6 by going over section 6.5. In section 6.5, we're going to continue our work trying to find a Hamilton tour of least cost. Um, last time we went over the uh, nearest neighbor algorithm and the uh, uh, brute force algorithm, and today we're going to go over the cheapest link algorithm. Um, so here's the cheapest link algorithm. Before we go on to the cheapest link algorithm, let me draw your attention to a couple things that we're going to need. Right? So if we have three vertices and it's simply connected, means that every vertex is connected to every other one, um, and we're looking for a Hamilton circuit, then um, you're going to need three edges. Right? And if you have four vertices, and you're going to make a circuit, no matter how you make the circuit to connect all four of these, you're going to need uh, four edges. Same thing for five. If you're going to connect, if you're going to make a Hamilton circuit that connects all these edges, the only way you're going to do that is with five edges. One. Two, three, four, five. Right. The other thing is, in a Hamilton circuit, we're interested in visiting each vertex only once. So, um, if you have, let's say, uh, five vertices, one, two, three, four, five, and um, if you have a circuit. If you have a circuit somewhere in your uh, 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 p tour, then you cannot have a Hamilton uh, circuit because um, once you go and try to connect the rest of it, you, you will notice that you will have visited uh, vertices more than once, right? So you can't have a little um, circuit inside your big uh, circuit. And so then that'll help us uh, go over why the rules are what the rules are. Okay, so notice that uh, first thing I told you is that if you have n vertices, you're going to need n edges uh, to, to uh, uh, make a Hamilton tour. And since you're going to need n edges, if you have n vertices, you're going to have n steps. The first step is relatively simple. It's the cheapest link algorithm. So you're going to pick the cheapest link available. Uh, so, step one, pick the cheapest link available. If there is more than one, randomly pick one among the cheapest links. Highlight the link in red or any other color. Okay, so step two is also very simple. Pick the next cheapest link available and highlight it, right? Now, there's no problem in step one or step two. The problems arise at step three. Um, because once you have three links, it is possible for you to make a circuit. And you can't have a circuit, uh, uh, a smaller circuit inside um, your Hamilton circuit. It won't be a Hamilton circuit, right? So you, in, in a Hamilton circuit, you can only have one circuit. Uh, so the other thing that might happen is you may uh, come across uh, where you pick a cheap ledge, a, a, cheap, ed a cheap edge, and maybe it, it's, it's one that already has two edges coming out of it. That's not going to be a Hamilton circuit because you're going to visit that vertex more than once again. So you can't do that either. So steps three, four, dot, 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 all the way to N minus one. Uh, it says continue picking and highlighting the cheapest available link that does not violate the partial circuit rule, i.e. does not close a partial circuit, or B does not violate the three edge rule, i.e. does not create three uh, edges meeting at the same vertex. And then finally, step n, if you have n vertices, the last edge um, you're going to find by just connect the two vertices that are closed, that, that close the red circuit. Once we have the Hamilton circuit, we can add a direction of travel clockwise or counterclockwise. Either one gives us the cheapest link tour. So um, let's practice that. Okay, so I will walk you through step by step on this. Um, so, uh, for the weighted graph shown in figure 647, find the cheapest link tour. Write the tour using B as the starting vertex. 
Okay, so step one, find the cheapest link. So go ahead and do that. Pause the video, see what you think is the cheapest one, and then um, find that one. So by going through the weight of all the edges, um, if I, yeah, the, the cheapest link is this link that connect that connect that connects vertices E and D. Then uh, step two, find the uh, next cheapest link. And so we have a 2, 4 that connects vertices D and C. Okay. Might want to pause and um, try and figure out step three on your own rather than just watching me do it. Um, and what we're doing is looking for the next cheapest link, but um, we don't want to either close a circuit or have three edges coming out of a vertex. So the next cheapest link is uh, the, the link that connects D and A that has a weight of 3.1. But if we use that one, then um, we would have three edges coming out of vertex D, which would tell us that in our circuit, we would uh, travel past D twice. So it's not a, it would not be a Hamilton circuit. So we can't use that edge. Uh, three one next comes three two, and then three two. We're connecting these right here. Okay, right there by using that edge, we're not closing a circuit. We're not having three edges coming out of one vertex, so that's good. Okay, next three three, um, and by using three three, we're not closing a circuit, and we are not. Um, having three edges coming out of one vertex. So we're good there as well. There are five vertices. We have come up with one, two, three, four edges. Um, and so we just need one more edge uh, to, to uh, close our circuit. Um, and so then at this point, we have no choice. The only edge that will close our circuit uh, is the edge that goes from E to B. We are no longer looking at what our weights we're just looking for um, what edge will close the circuit. Um, now, uh, write the tour. So for the weighted graph shown in figure 647, find the cheapest link tour, right? And then write the tour using B as the starting vertex, right? So we can start at B and then follow the circuit and go to E. And then from E, we go to D. And then from D, we go to C. And then from C, we go to A. And then from A, we um, go all the way back to B. You could write the tour uh, backwards and write B, A, C, D, E, B, same tour. Okay. Problem number 54. A robotic laser must drill holes on five sites, A, B, C, D, and E, in a, micro in a microprocessor chip. At the end, the laser must return to its starting position, A, and start all over. Figure 649 shows the time in seconds it takes the laser arm to move from one site to another. In this traveling salesman problem, a tour is a sequence of drilling locations starting and ending at A. Find the cheapest link tour and its length. Okay, so here we're not given a picture. And without a picture, it's kind of hard to tell whether we're going to make a circuit or whether we are um, uh, going to have three edges coming out of one vertex. And so what we should do is we should just make a picture of the vertices a b c d and d your picture doesn't have to look the same you just have to have five different vertices and um, that's all we need and the labels a b c d and e when you look um, when you look at the information you were given, you were given uh, a, a table giving you the uh, weights for each edge. Um, but 
the table is uh, duplicated. The top half and the bottom half are the same. So we're only going to look at the top half. So looking at the top half, we're just looking at these numbers here and looking for the cheapest one. Um, the cheapest one is uh, 0.7. So 0.7 is the one of least weight. So that corresponds to uh, the edge from A to C. We'll be done with that. Okay. Next cheapest one is we have a couple point eights. Um, so you can pick either one of those and I will use this one that goes from B to D. And there's this other point eight here and um, now we have to be careful. Uh, can I use that one? That one goes from C to E, and that's perfectly fine. We have uh, three edges right now. We have two more to go. Okay. Um, so next up on the cheap is uh, point 0.9. Um, from uh, B to C, B to C would give us uh, uh, two, three edges coming out of uh, that one. So we can't use that one. We can't use B to C. And then we have this other point 0.9 over here that goes from D to E. Uh, that one does not violate anything. Right? And so then we can use that one. And now we have four edges. One, two, three, four. We only need one more. Um, and um, we have no choice, right? It's the one that's going to close the circuit. It's going to close the circuit like this. At the end, the laser must return to its starting position at A, right? And so then there are two tours. We start at A, go to B, then go to D, then go to E, then go to C, and then back to A. Or we go backwards, A, C, E, D, B, either one of these. Find the cheapest link tour and its length. Okay, so uh, A to B was 1.2. Uh, B to D was 0.8. D to E was 0.9. E to C Point eight and C to A was point seven. Okay, so the um, cheapest link tour is given there. If we add up the weight of all the edges for that tour, we will get a total uh, time of four point four seconds. Now then part B, given that the tour A, B, E, C, A is an optimal tour, find the relative error of the cheapest link tour found in A. Right? So um, the the uh, the um, optimal tour found probably using the brute force is going to go for, is going to say to go from A to D which has a weight of 1, uh, plus, and then you go from D to B, which has a weight of 0.8. And then you're going to go from B to E, which has a 1.1. And then you go from C I'm from, from E to C, from E to C, which has another 0.8. And then from C back to A. Point 0.7.
And so then you get 1 plus 0.8 plus 1.1. Plus 0.8 plus 0.7, 4.4 seconds again. Looks like we're getting the same one. Maybe I did something wrong. Let me uh, let me recalculate that. I um, recalculated it, and I got the same 4.4. And I got the cheapest link was 4.4, so there is no error. So there was a 0% error. Uh, so by using the uh, cheapest link tour, we got the same answer as the optimal tour. And um, everything worked out great. Okay, so here is your homework for this section. Um, please go to Canvas, and um, I will outline how we are going to proceed um, with collecting homework and stuff of that nature. But first, uh, watch the video, uh, practice some problems, and um, we'll be in contact. Thank you. Bye.